Hello YouTube, today I'll be making a video on my new web application that I made. So I've recently started experimenting a little bit with web applications. And I made a very simple, yet yeah, pretty cool app. So basically what it does is, if you're not familiar with Strava, it's an online biking uh, website where you record your ride with the GPS and it records different coordinates in the GPX file. And then when you upload it to their servers, they allow for segments. So what a segment is, is it's basically a race from one point to another. Now, the problem with that is that since there's different conditions, for example wind, sometimes when you race you have favorable conditions, sometimes they're not so favorable. So basically what this website does is it pings their servers and sees if your race was actually hindered or helped by the wind. So to make this website, I used HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And here it is, it's over here. So it's material design. So if we load this, it loads up here, there's a loading bar and everything. So at the top over here, we have a nav bar with a pretty nice color, cyan. And here we have the instructions. So to use this, you have to get a Strava API access key. So there's an example image here, and you have to go to Strava's website and get a public access token. And you have to get a segment ID number. And then afterwards you can read the data. So basically you fill in the spots here or you can use a pre-filled information, which it does automatically. So I use this segment ID and this authentication ID for the data inputs. Here you can see the top leaderboard closest to you. So whoever signed up with that specific ID. And we can see the wind. For example, we see that this person had an average speed of 46.1 km per hour during this race. And their wind speed at that time was 4.83 kilometers. It was southwest while you're riding from the southeast in this way. Keep in note that wind direction is usually different from where you're coming from. So this means the wind is coming from southwest, which means it's going northeast. Here, this one's going northwest. And there's an influence rating that's calculated. And the way to get the influence rating, and the larger the rating, the more it helps you, is um, essentially you have to use a little bit of vectors. You create a unit vector with the direction. So you get the longitude and latitude from where you start and from where you end. And you get a direction vector. And then you use the unit vector set, it always equals one. So you don't care how big the vector is. It's always the size of one. And then um, since the magnitude of the vector is one, you multiply it by the speed so then you increase the magnitude and then you add it tip to tail tip to tail so it's like this and then you have a vector like that this vector always has a magnitude of 1 so that this is the same as this in terms of actual size and then you get your speed vector and then you multiply this by your speed vector so it becomes a little bit longer and you do the same thing with the wind now the wind it gives it an angle of radiance so you have to convert it um, over to a vector from that. You can just use uh, sine and close for that. And same thing, you get a unit vector like that, and you put them tip to tail, and then you get the resultant vector there. Take the magnitude and figure out if it's positive and how it affects everything. So that's pretty much how it works. It uses Ajax requests for the Strava servers. So using Ajax, you get all the information such as wind, uh, not wind, speed, date, athlete name, using the Strava version 3 API. And then uh, using Open Weather API, you can get all the wind direction and ride and uh, everything else, mostly wind direction and also temperature, some other things. I actually posted this on the internet and it got over 3,000 utilizations, which causes an issue with the API since I'm using a free account and I ran out of... Uh, yeah. Uses, 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 uses today. So this is the influence rating. We can see most people are held positively, obviously, if they're in the top 10. Except this guy who went against the wind a bit, Andrew Baker. And I also integrated a uh, Google Maps API. So we have a little Google Maps here. I'm going to change it in the future so that it automatically resizes based off of the length of your, of your um, ride. Yeah, it automatically preloads and it actually uses um, it converts the poly it converts the poly um, 
I think it's polylines and the Google Maps API since it doesn't give a straightforward implementation from the Strava to Google Maps. Anyways, the code is pretty cool. I have it all on GitHub posted, so you can go ahead and look if you're interested in seeing the code. You just materialize CSS from the, for the front end, so that definitely made it a little bit easier to work with. So here we have all the Ajax requests using jQuery. jQuery allowed for the easy manipulation of everything and also to do the XML HTTP requests. You have to use a proxy. I used a proxy because of the cross-domain issue when I was doing the Ajax re request. So I had to use a third-party one called Core Cross-origin is also an alternative for the cross-domain requests. Overall, it's pretty simple. And inside the utility class, I have all of the. I have all of the. Whoops! I keep on going there. I don't know why. Across the utility class, I have all of the other things, such as the um, vector manipulation, vector prototype, and I used object-oriented programming. Another th annoying thing was changing the longitude and latitude to cardinal directions, so it appears nicely in the table. Lastly, I also have an about section here where you can do everything else. And I've also mobile optimized it with like a little nice thing over there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, there's a nice loading bar by the way. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below. And you can always look at the readme on, on um, GitHub. Thanks for watching.